Hello friends, and it is day 14. I'm supposed to introduce to you my family. I was kind of hoping that I would be able to introduce to you to my family on Friday because I'm going up to Chicago and I'm gonna see my family. But then I was thinking about it and I realized, you know, I am probably the craziest one out of everybody in my family. And I probably am the only one who also would be wanting her life on the whole internet. And my family is kind of known as like the nice guys. We're the nice family. Like people are like, oh, the Hornbergs. They're all so kind and nice to everybody. But, uh, not that my family is perfect. I mean, we annoy each other and get each other's nerves and we all have our issues and we argue. I remember in high school, we'd go with like, the biggest arguments over dishes. It was like, why didn't you do the dishes? I hate you for life, blah. Although we obviously don't hate each other for life. That would be silly. We're not that dysfunctional. First, there is my dad. I probably got my I want to meet everyone and know everyone and do everything stuff from him. If you look at my dad's senior yearbook from high school, you would feel really uncool because when you look through it, there's signatures on top of signatures because there wasn't enough room in the yearbook for everyone to sign in their own Space. And even as an adult, he knew everyone. He did everything. He was involved with all sorts of things all the time. As I was growing up and everywhere I go, there's people who are like, oh, are you Art's daughter? And I'm like, yes, yes I am. And you're probably another person that he knows from something. <coughs> Which is really cool. Then there's my mom. I'm sorry, she helps teach at a elementary school. Actually, the school that I grew up at. <coughs> It's also our church. She used to be a deaconess, and so that's probably kind of where I got some of the church worker stuff. I don't know, she's also always there to listen and give some good advice. And I remember she always used to love when we had friends over. She loved having people over and just, you know, being nice to them and getting to know them. And she was always like the carpool lady. We had this like minivan when I was in high school, and mom would just drive all my friends around all the time. And as far as I know, she really liked it, which was really cool. Then there's my older sister, Natalie. She is <coughs> two years older than me. And we got along for the most part. I mean, we went through a stint in like the middle school, early high school years, because those are the bratty years of life. And we went through a stint where we kind of had a sibling rivalry going on. But who doesn't go through that? But we get along really well now. She's just like a really, really tender-hearted, sweet person. And that's just so awesome about her. And we're really good friends, which is cool. I'm the youngest in the family, which I guess is cool. I feel like growing up with me probably wasn't very easy because I'm short and I break my bones easily. Like my sister can't play any games with me because I'll probably break. And then of course there's Bandit is my dog. I've had him for about three years now. He's like three and a half to four years old. I'm not really quite sure because he was a rescue dog and they kind of just guesstimated at his age when I got him. I also grew up with another dog. Her name was Josie. She's still living. She's at my parents' house and she's out. So that's my old. family in a nutshell and I will see you all tomorrow. Love your faces.